Promoting a film is an art unto itself, and these were this year's masterpieces. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we'll be counting down the top 10 movie trailers of 2017. Tell either side there's no wall. You bought a war. Before we begin, we publish new videos every day, so be sure to subscribe for more great content. For this list, we've ranked the best film trailers to have been released in 2017. In the real world, people die. Logan. I don't want to talk about it. Logan. Just stop. Number 10, The Disaster Artist. What a line. What a line. Though every trailer that eventually came out for this film was cause for celebration and uproarious laughter among those of us who love Tommy Wiseau's The Room. I did not hit her. It's not true. It's bullshit. I did not hit her. I did not. Oh, hi, Mark. This teaser trailer gets bonus points for having been our wondrous first look. Adapting a behind-the-scenes tell-all story of the making of the worst film ever made seems like a tall order, but with this little taste, Seth Rogen and the Franco brothers showed fans that they were taking their adaptation very seriously, with hilarious results. I did not hit her. It's not true. It's bullshit. I did not hit her. I did not. Oh, hi, Mark. James Franco's portrayal of Tommy Wiseau is spot on, and the entire thing just feels like one big, beautifully crafted inside joke aimed at fans of the room. Oh, hi, Mark. Yes! <laughs> Number nine, Logan. For his last cinematic outing with Claus, Hugh Jackman promised to give us the sort of mature Wolverine story the character deserved, one that wasn't concerned with keeping it to a PG-13 rating. Admittedly, the first Logan trailer, set to Johnny Cash's rendition of Hurt, was beautiful and atmospheric. I would find a way. Logan, you still have time. But the second trailer was when we started taking Jackman's promise seriously. We got ourselves an X-Men fan. Not only do we see Wolverine unleashed, but we get even more R-rated carnage courtesy of X-23. With its road trip vibe, self-aware connections to its source material, and keen balance between violence and sentiment, the second trailer for Logan promised a perfect swan song for Jackman as the Wolverine. Number 8, Justice League. There's an attack coming from far away. Not coming, Bruce. It's already here. Whether you're a fan of the DCEU or not, you have to admit, the idea of seeing the entire Justice League brought to life on the big screen is something that few comic book fans can simply shrug off. After the excellent Wonder Woman, fans were given cause for hope, and when this trailer debuted, well, those hopes continued to grow. Giving each new member a proper introduction and showcasing their abilities, this trailer also promised plenty of epic moments, high stakes action, and a refreshing dose of humor. What are your superpowers again? I'm rich. Though Justice League may be a film to approach with tempered expectations, this trailer made it hard not to hope for the best. Yeah! Number seven, Baby Driver. Why would I believe phones over here hear the goddamn word you said? He ain't even listening. Baby. This film might have flown somewhat under the radar, but it soon managed to score both with critics and cinema goers alike, earning itself hundreds of millions at the box office against a modest budget of just $34 million. Though good word of mouth likely helped, we'd like to posit that this international trailer played a big role in the film's ability to connect with audiences around the world. Seriously, just watch it. It's stylish, fun, and jam-packed with action, yet manages to avoid the overblown sequences of contemporary blockbusters. I have to drive again. It's not what I want. And what do you want? To get out of here. You want it? I'm in, baby. The trailer reads like a love letter to heist and car chase films of yesteryear, and clearly, that's something cinema-goers craved. Get out of the car! I'm sorry, ma'am. Number six, Deadpool 2. Oh, you wanna end up dead? Oh, no, please don't. Are you kidding me? No, no, Not on my watch, mother Though it was more of a short film than a traditional trailer, No Good Deed was essentially a teaser for Deadpool 2, and fans ate it up. So, we have no problem including it on this list. Hey, it's entirely focused on getting people totally stoked about an upcoming film, and by that standard, this trailer was a major success. In it, Deadpool reminds us that he's no hero by spectacularly failing to save the day despite the crime in question being a fairly low-level one. Oh, that's not good. No, no, no. Oh, you're not gonna walk that one off. Oh, that's so gross. It makes one thing perfectly clear. Success hasn't changed our beloved Deadpool, and he's the same crass, reckless, nihilistic anti-hero who stole your heart and wallet in the first film. And Jerry Garcia ice cream. 
We can eat this? Don't answer now. Just rest. Number five, Isle of Dogs. Let's be frank, each and every Wes Anderson movie is usually cause for excitement. With his distinctive, polished, composed approach to directing, his trailers are always a movable feast for the eyes, almost like a fluid painting in a way. We're a pack of scary, indestructible alpha dogs. <laughs> But after the success of Fantastic Mr. Fox, fans have hungrily awaited his next stop-motion animation feature in particular. Based on this trailer, Isle of Dogs looks to be another wonderfully odd adventure with charming dialogue, overly formal characters, and of course, a cast to make any cinephile weak in the knees. But the trailer's strongest selling point, in true Wes Anderson style, is of course, the promise of a truly inspired and unusual original story. I wish somebody spoke his language. <laughs> Number four, Thor Ragnarok. So much has happened since I last saw you. I lost my hammer, like yesterday, so that's still pretty fresh. The MCU as a whole is a franchise that has experienced unparalleled success. Unfortunately, in the hierarchy of that success, Thor's solo cinematic outings have tended towards the bottom of the pile. When Taika Waititi was attached to direct the third film, however, those familiar with the director's work became very curious. A New Zealand director known for his distinctly offbeat comedic voice, a YTT Thor film was hard to imagine. Surprise! This will be such fun. But as this trailer shows, it makes such glorious sense. Borrowing from the Ragnarok and Planet Hulk comic storylines, YTT presented us with a glimpse of his vision. Fantasy and sci-fi mixed together for ridiculously fun results. What were you the god of again? Number three. Blade Runner 2049. Few films could make cinephiles nervous like a sequel to Blade Runner. Every civilization was built off the back of a disposable workforce. Ridley Scott's 1982 film has gone on to become one of the most respected and influential films in the sci-fi genre, or any genre for that matter. It's one of those mega-respected, untouchable movies to which a sequel over three decades later couldn't possibly contribute anything without targeting its reputation, right? What do you want? I want to ask you some questions. That's what most of us thought. Well, we were all thankfully wrong. With the talented Denis Villeneuve at the helm, this first full trailer for Blade Runner 2049 made us believe in his vision and his potential to do justice to the original. It's atmospheric, chill-inducingly dramatic, and visually stunning. Your story isn't over yet. There's still a page left. Number two, Star Wars Episode Eight: The Last Jedi. Can you feel it? The raw, untamed power of this trailer? With its ominous title, The Last Jedi promised to take this sequel trilogy to some dark places, but we didn't realize just how sinister things were about to get in this galaxy far, far away until we got this first full trailer for Ryan Johnson's epic. Seriously, from Snoke's opening lines and Luke's talk of fear, it didn't scare me enough then, to Kylo Ren's emotionally destructive pep talk, Let the past die. and Poe Dameron's rousing words of inspiration, this trailer induces one shiver-inducing moment after another, and with visuals to match. We are the spark that'll light the fire that'll burn the first order down. It teases a lot of potentially massive twists and turns, and in doing so, almost made the number one spot. I need someone. To show me my place in all this. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. When you're black, it's almost like having a gun pointed at your face. It's like this. Hey, boy, what you doing on my street? Get that gun off me. Oh, what? They called our generation the missing millions. Missing not because we went anywhere. There's nowhere left to go. Nowhere except the oasis i think i know where my dad went that's right in the middle of the devil's sea it will be an adventure death is not an adventure number one avengers infinity war fans waited months and months for what is hands down the most anticipated trailer of all time and it did not disappoint with the final shot of thor meeting the guardians of the galaxy it showed us the goods in a major way we saw heroes returning and reuniting for what will be the greatest assembly of heroes ever put to film. The Big Bad Thanos is making a huge impact, and we can't wait for Earth's mightiest heroes to save the day. Or at least begin to. The follow-up for this two-parter will be coming out a year later. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo, and subscribe for new videos every day.